so I'm going to do a quick overview of this uh, Stromberg uh, A-frame bike rack, which I just put in, and I literally just put it in. And so you can you can hear my that I'm a little bit out of breath, right? It's really actually quite easy. Here's the bike rack, and that's a so this is the actual bike rack here. This thing I had from when we used to go uh, bike bike riding on Long Island, which always happened, by the way. In any event, you have these clamps on both sides. And the crossbar, they say should be two to three inches. So I think I'm two inches from here. But you can see that the bikes rack they rack up here, so they're not going to be touching, and this should be well over my truck. So uh, the hardest part for this was, and this is what I had to look up the instructions. There are instructions on e-trailer. So if, uh, let me see, is there a model number on this? CC275. If you look that up on e-trailer, he actually shows you uh, the install, and that's what I needed to do it because the instructions were slightly different. But in any event, you put those doodads on and you leave them loose on both sides and you put these arms in and you kind of get it to a point where you have space. You're going to mount this. These little things are called stop screws, so they just sit on top. Let me see if I can show that maybe on this one. See how it just sits on top there? And then you get your lineup points and then this screw is really just to hold everything in place once you have it lined up and centered. Sorry for the shadows, folks, but that's pretty, pretty well centered. So you leave those loose, put these guys in, let this guy rest on top. These are end caps, which were already on when, uh, when I opened it. So you get it positioned, you put these little, they call them stops, but they just kind of hold everything in place. There's one, two, and then three, four on the other side. So once you get all those in place, put this guy up here, you make sure he's where, where it needs to be. And then uh, you tighten up those four bolts and those four bolts over there. So then you have your stops in and the bolts. And then the hard part comes. You have to drill. There's a hole here. You have to drill here, through here, and then put on the nylon lockers. So you have to drill here, three quarter inch drill bit here. To drill here and then on the other one so you have four holes to drill and it took me a little bit i'm still sweating uh because i probably don't have a carbide bit i had a couple of three quarter inch bits i don't know what they are in any event uh once i got those in you tighten them up and i don't have a locker in here yet i have to go buy one but this is pretty, pretty darn sturdy. So I expect with the bumps, this is gonna bounce a little bit, but as long as these are secure, I should be able to get uh, the two bike racks on here with no problem. And so uh, if it sucks, I will uh, make another video talking about how it sucks. But uh, right now it seems pretty good. And uh, now Edie and I can go biking. And of course, now we'll have to find little uh, doggy trailers that we can pull with our bicycles. So that's it. This is the Stromberg Bike Bunk CC275. So far, so good. And uh, that's it. So if you want to see more product videos of the crap I use, and I generally don't have crap, but uh, hit subscribe if you haven't already. Smash the like button. That helps you to uh, promote our videos. So basically you're helping us by not spending a dime. You just smash. And uh, we'll see you in the next product video. Thanks for watching.